one telephone. <coughs> Hello, right, this is an old GPO telephone, standard elephant grey telephone, but unfortunately it's got its old connection which is there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to change it from the old connection which is no longer any use and we are going to convert it into one of these simply by putting a new socket on and then we can use it with all new BT telephones. First thing we have to do is to take the phone apart and that's really really simple so I'm going to show you that simply see the screw which is there and you turn it if I can see without my glasses turn it until it pops towards you so therefore it springs this, this it doesn't actually come out right and the next thing is to do is simply lift the lid so I can show you there simply press your hand on the dial and then just push it up and there you have it so now what we can see is some old connections to which we have to remove. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this in order to make a start. So what we need to do now, if I can show you here, is all the connections that we have to take off in order to release this one. So here we go. First of all, you'll find the junctions uh, from T1 to T20 as you can see there there you go T1 to T20 they're not all individually numbered so what you're going to have to do is simply count and as you can see you've got your T's there so if you go from there all the way along you'll see that you can count all your T's from T10 to T19 etc etc might be worth adding that also they're here as you can see here that's a rectifier and that rectifier there is between junctions T1 and T2. Um, older ones may not have one of these. And the reason for one of these is to cut down any of the background noise just to make the listening more enjoyable. However, if you haven't got one, you can get them on the internet. As you can with all the conversion kits as well. Now also, what I haven't got, which you can use, is also you need to put a resistor and I'll show you where that resistor goes in a moment. And that resistor is to um, inhibit the phone from cutting down the speed of your internet. However, I've got fibre octave here, so I don't really need it. I don't notice it when the phone's ringing or whether I'm using it. So I think with faster broadbands, you could literally get away with it. But I will show you where it will go, just in case you need to put one on. Right, yeah, the first thing we can see, it looks very, very complicated there, doesn't it? But it really isn't that complicated at all. So the first thing we need to do is simply remove the original wiring. As you can see there, you just simply look at the grommets. There we go, let me show you. And take it out. There we go. So that grommet's taken out. And all of a sudden, it just looks a lot clearer, doesn't it? We can see now that though anything that's connected to the original lead is all around this area. So what we're going to do is simply remove all of these to begin with, okay? Simple screwdriver. And what you simply do with these, all these things here, you just turn them about maybe a turn and a half, which will release the hooks, and then that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you the first one to begin with. Literally, anti-clockwise, as you know. Turn it. And... Then you've got the little horseshoe wire there. I don't know whether you can see that there. You've got the horseshoe wire there. And you just do it with all the other ones that are simply connected to the wire that used to go into the socket. So we're continuing to remove all the, the cables from this particular section here. But you can see, I'm going to point to this one here, which is terminals 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Right, we are going to remove the red cable. So therefore, this one here is going to be of no use at all. This, I don't know what they call these things, this little silver thing that connects the two together. So I'm going to remove that and I shall tell you why in a minute and I shall show you it when it's done. So I'm going to continue to take away the old cables and I'll be back with you shortly. So there we have it. I've now removed 
the original cabling and you can see there that there is nothing nothing left right now I said earlier on that a lot of people put a resistor and the resistor will go between these terminals here so what would normally happen which is terminals uh, one two three four and five what would normally happen is this would normally go this little bracket here but I'm leaving it in because like I said before I don't use it so what's going to happen here is these four normally all make one simple circuit and this one here has no use so what I'm going to do I'm going to take out this particular bracket here and I'm simply going to put it in between these two so you've got a whole bracket that's 19 18 17 16 will all link together and that's what I'm going to do now so I'll get back to you there we go now that's all been done oops that's just fell out that's all been done so what we need to do now is simply connect our new cable now it's time to connect our new cable which has all the same colored wires as what we've taken off and it's got the new bt thing at the end now this isn't a brand new cable i kind of found this dossing around the attic but obviously if you're going to buy one you can buy them off the internet they're fairly cheap about four pounds you can buy the matching colors i'm using a white one just to show you for demonstration purposes right the first wire we're going to connect is the blue wire and the blue wire goes to terminal number six so terminal number six one i don't know whether you can see there to be honest Ugh. one two three four five six terminal six with a blue wire the next wire we're going to connect is the red wire now the red wire goes to terminal number eight let me just show you terminal number eight there is that one just there so i'm just going to do that now so that's the red wire to terminal number eight the next wire is going to terminal number 16 which is the white wire now like before and i showed you at the very bottom that we've got all these all in connection with each other so really when you think about it it really doesn't matter where you put that you can put it on any of those three so simply pick any single one for the white one so i'm just simply going to put it on this one here and that's and tighten that up finally we do the green wire now the green wire has real no real purpose at all it's basically a spare and there are a few spare terminals on there uh, on this board um, and terminal 15 is one of them so again we're counting 10 11 12 13 14 15 so we can simply put this one to terminal 15 because it's just a spare And there we have it, we have now connected a new BT plug-in type of modern lead into an old rotary dial phone. Um, just for information though, um, if you're doing, uh, this is the 746, this system will work on the 706, uh, the 706L, which is just basically anything with L on the end just means it's got letters as well as numbers. But if you're doing the wall phones, which I believe is the 711 and the 741, be careful not to get the leads with the grommets in. You can get them without the grommets. And the reason you don't need grommets on the ones that hang on the wall is because ideally, if they're meant to hang on the wall, there's no reason for you to be stretching and pulling on the wires. So how you feed that in is, is through the back of the phone. Uh, however, the grommet would just get in the way. You would not be able to feed it into the little hole at the back of the phone. So if it's a 711 or the 741, just be careful to order them specifically for that phone and it's just the same wire but it just has got, hasn't got the grommet on it that's all right i'm going to put the phone back together again and then we're going to test it to see if it works okay that's all been put back together again so let's see if it works shall we first of all i'm going to call the number to see if it rings oh look at that Now there's a novelty. 
The ring's completely different, isn't it? Maybe we just got lucky there. Now I'm going to try to dial out. So I'm going to make a telephone call. The only trouble about these things. Now let's see if that works. There we are. There's a full working telephone. Isn't that absolutely marvellous? And that really is so simple. Um, watch the video back, or if there's anything you're not sure of, please, please send me a message. It's the first video I've ever done as a tutorial, so I'm hoping it's come across all clear for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something new today. Thanks a lot. Cheerio.